Hello students, welcome to GS Maths once again. Today I am going to continue with the chapter in Worst Trigonometric Functions. In my first lecture, I told you about the domain and the range of inverse trigonometric functions like sine inverse x, cos inverse x, tan inverse x and so on. Today I am going to move further, that is properties I have written, few properties I have written about trigonometric functions, say sine inverse of minus x is negative sine inverse x, x belongs to minus 1 to 1. Similarly cos inverse x, cos inverse of minus x is cos inverse x, x belongs to minus 1 to 1. Now tan inverse of minus x is negative tan inverse x for all x belonging to r and so on. Just like cot inverse of minus x is pi minus cot inverse x for all x belonging to the real numbers. Similarly, this is a, a very important property that is tan inverse of 1 by x. This is equal to cot inverse x if x is greater than 0. This is equal to negative pi plus cot inverse x if x is less than 0. Similarly, sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2, x belongs to minus 1 to 1. Similarly, tan inverse x plus cot inverse x equals to pi by 2, x belongs to the real numbers. Secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x is pi by 2, where x belongs to minus infinity to minus 1, union of minus 1 to infinity. This is again a very important property of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. This is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy if xy is less than 1. This is equal to pi plus tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy if xy is greater than 0 but xy is greater than 1. Right? Negative pi plus tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy if x comma y is less than 0 and x y is greater than 1. Similarly, tan inverse x minus tan inverse y equals to this. If x y is greater than minus 1, pi plus tan inverse tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y. If x is positive, y is negative and x y is less than minus 1. Sin inverse x plus sin inverse y. This is x times 1 minus y square under root plus y times 1 minus x square under the root. Condition is ki xy is negative but the product of x into y is negative but x square plus y square is greater than 1. Right? This is sin inverse x minus sin inverse y. It is sin inverse of x times under root 1 minus y square minus of y under root of 1 minus x square. Here it is xy is greater than 0. But x here plus y here is greater than 1. In the first formula it was xy, the product is negative. In the second formula xy, product is positive. Cos inverse x plus cos inverse y equals to cos inverse of xy minus of 1 minus x here under root into 1 minus y here under root. Minus 1 less than or equal to x comma y less than or equal to 1 or x plus y is greater than or equal to 0. In the last formula property is cos inverse x plus cos inverse y equals to cos inverse of xy plus under root of 1 minus x square into 1 minus y square square root where x comma y the value lies between minus 1 and 1 it can be equal to minus 1 it can be equal to positive 1 and in between values the x is less than equal to y now, there are a few more properties I will write down just now for you. Remember these properties. These will be used subsequently when we solve the problems. This property is very important. That is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y equals to all the three values. Condition is the first one is xy less than 1. Second one is x comma y positive but xy is greater than 1. The third one is negative pi plus if xy is less than 0, that is negative, the xy is greater than 1. Okay, now I will write few more properties for you. <coughs> now, properties are number one property, that is I have written 18 properties, the 19th property is say 2 sin inverse x. This is equal to sin inverse 2x into 1 minus x square. 
राइट कंडीशन इज की माइनस वन बाय अंडर रूट टू लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन वन बाय रूट टू देन सेकेंड इज ट्वेंटी साइन इन वर्स एक्स दिस इज बेसिकली साइन ऑफ टू थीटा दैट इज टू साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा कॉस थीटा इज चेंज इन टू वन माइनस साइन स्केयर थीटा दैट्स वाई इट साइन इन वर्स टू एक्स अंडर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स स्केयर राइट नाउ थ्री साइन इन वर्स एक्स इज साइन इन वर्स थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स क्यूब दिस इज माइनस हाफ लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू पॉजिटिव हाफ नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज दिस टू कॉस इन वर्स एक्स टू कॉस इन वर्स एक्स इज कॉस इन वर्स ऑफ टू एक्स स्केयर माइनस वन राइट दिस इज जीरो लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू वन टू कॉस इन वर्स एक्स इज कॉस इन वर्स ऑफ टू एक्स स्केयर माइनस वन इट्स बेसिकली टू कॉस स्केयर थीटा माइनस वन कॉस ऑफ टू थीटा ना सिमिलरली दिस इज थ्री कॉस इन वर्स एक्स दिस इज कॉस इन वर्स फोर एक्स क्यू माइनस थ्री एक्स राइट दिस इज हाफ लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू वन नाउ नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर इज टू टैन इन वर्स एक्स टू टैन इन वर्स एक्स इक्वल टू टैन इन वर्स टू एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स के दिस इज माइनस वन लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू सॉरी वन दस माइनस वन लेस देन एक्स लेस देन वन फर्स्ट टू साइन इन वर्स एक्स दिस इज बेसिकली फॉर्मूला साइन टू थीटा टू साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा दिस इज साइन ऑफ थ्री थीटा वेन इज ऑल इज थ्री साइन थीटा माइनस फोर साइन क्यू थीटा देर फोर थ्री साइन इन वर्स एक्स इक्वल टू दिस बट x belongs to minus half to half this is again cos 2 theta this is 2 cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse of 2 x here minus 1 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 1 now 3 cos inverse x is cos inverse 4x cube minus 3x if this is there 2 tan inverse x equals to this if minus 1 less than equal to x less than 1 now Next property is three tan inverse x. Three tan inverse x. This is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of three x minus x cube divided by one minus three x here. That is minus one by under root three less than equal to x less than equal to one by under root three. This Is the formula of tan three tan inverse x. The next is two tan inverse x. This is I have written two tan inverse x. Tan inverse x is two x one minus x here minus one less than x less than one. Now all these properties will be used in solving the numericals based on inverse trigonometric functions, right? now we shall start with few sums which i will like to solve with you so that the concept of these properties is clear to you these properties are very important and are an integral part of your inverse trigonometric functions this chapter inverse trigonometric functions inverse trigonometric functions <clears throat> now the first question is i would like to do is this question is prove that prove that tan inverse x plus tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x here this is equal to i have to prove this tan inverse 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square right now 
this is tan inverse x plus tan inverse 2x upon this. What I have to do is, I have to apply that this is my x, this is my y. Take the left hand side, take the left hand side. When I multiply this x and y, this, I get 2x square upon 1 minus x square. Take it. 2x square upon 1 minus x square. My product is less than 1. My product is less than 1. I will use the first formula that is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. This is equal to tan inverse x plus 2x upon 1 minus x square. 1 minus x into 2x upon 1 minus x square. It is tan inverse multiply minus x cube plus 2x divided by 1 minus x square minus 2x square upon 1 minus x square will cancel out. This becomes tan inverse 1 that is 3x x plus 2x is 3x minus x cube divided by 1 minus 3x here. This is the right hand side. This is equal to your right hand side. What I have applied is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. The condition was x y was less than 1 x multiplied by y. This comes out to be 2x here upon 1 minus x here which is less than 1. I apply tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x into y. Solve it, I get the right hand side. Next one. Next question I have to solve is, I would like to solve with you is, again a very good sum. This was NCRT based question from the book of NCRT. Now, question is prove that Prove that 2 tan inverse half plus tan inverse 1 by 7, tan inverse 1 by 7 is equal to tan inverse 31 by 17. Right? Now, 2 tan inverse half. Right? I will use the formula here 2 tan inverse x. This is equal to tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x here. Right? So solve this first. It is 2 tan inverse half. It is tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x the scale. This goes. I get tan inverse 1 upon 3 by 4. That becomes tan inverse 4 by 3. Right? Plus tan inverse 1 by 7 was there. Tan inverse 1 by 7 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 was there. Tan inverse 1 by 7. So tan inverse A plus tan inverse B or tan inverse X plus tan inverse why? Here also the x, y is less than 1. Look here. 4 into 1 is 4. 3 into 7 is 21. 4 upon 27 is less than 1. So directly apply this formula. Tan inverse 4 by 3 plus 1 by 7. 1 minus 4 by 3, 1 by 7. This is equal to tan inverse. Tan inverse. Right? 28 plus 3. 28 plus 3 upon 21 and 21 minus 4 17 this is your answer tan inverse 31 by 17 is your answer okay hope the concept is clear i have used the formula 2 tan inverse x over here 2 tan inverse x is tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x here i have applied it solved i got tan inverse 4 by 3 plus tan inverse 1 by 7. Now their product is less than 1. So I have applied tan inverse x plus y 1 minus x into y. I get the required result. <coughs> now. Okay. 
like this. Next sum I'm, I would like to do is evaluate, evaluate Evaluate tan of 2 tan inverse 1 by 5. Tan of 2 tan inverse 1 by 5. Again, I am going to use 2 tan inverse x ka formula. Tan, tan inverse 2x 1 minus x the square. I get tan, tan inverse. This is 2 by 5. 25 minus 1, 24 by 25. It is 2 by 5 into 25 by 24. 5 and 12. Thus is tan of tan inverse. Tan inverse with tan goes. Answer is 5 by 12. So value of tan into 2 tan of 2 tan inverse 1 by 5 is 5 by 12. These kind of sums. They generally come in a one mark question or it can be a two mark question, right? In the board exam. Now, another properties, two properties I'm going to write over here. These were missed out. Now, two tan inverse x. This is equal to sin inverse 2x upon 1 minus 1 plus x here 1 plus x here the condition is x lies between minus 1 and 1 this then 2 tan inverse x equals to cos inverse 1 minus x here upon 1 plus x here there the condition is x lies between 0 and infinity that is 0 less than x less than infinity cos inverse 1 minus x here upon 1 plus x here 2 tan inverse is equal to sin inverse 2x upon 1 plus x here x lies between minus 1 and 1 and here x is greater than equal to 0 but less than infinity right remember these two properties also now Question is, it's basically 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta, that is sine of 2 theta. 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta, it is basically cos 2 theta. <coughs> Remember the properties again, I am telling you again and again, repeating the same thing. Remember these properties so that it is easily uh, applicable in the numericals. Okay. Now, next sum is prove that prove that tan look here, look at the sum of sin inverse 2x upon 1 plus x here plus cos inverse 1 minus y square upon 1 plus y square Okay? This is equal to x plus y upon 1 minus xy. The condition is the mod of x is less than 1, y is greater than 0 and xy is less than 1. This is given to us. Now, this is sine inverse 2x upon 1 plus x here. We just wrote the value of this. This is 2 tan inverse x tan of half, right? Plus this is cos inverse 1 minus y square upon 1 plus y square. It is 2 tan inverse of y. Now I take out 2 common, that is tan of half. 2 is common. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. This 2 with 2 cancels tan of, apply the formula tan xy is less than 1 it's given so it's tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy this tan inverse tan goes I get the result which is given to me on the right hand side 
that is x plus y upon 1 minus x y right this was a formula for 2 tan inverse x property cos inverse this is equal to 2 tan inverse y another property then solve it 2 is common out of it tan inverse 1 by 2 2 will go tan inverse x plus tan inverse y since x y the product was less than 1 so i applied tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y this is equal to your right hand side <coughs> Yeah. Prove that tan inverse again trigonometric formulas of plus one will be used plus under root 1 minus cos x upon under root of 1 plus cos x minus 1 minus cos x right 5 by 4 plus x by 2 5 by 4 plus x by 2 the x lies in the first quadrant that is first quadrant now what is 1 plus cos x equal to? Okay? We have to use the trigonometric formula now. Pi by 4 plus x by 2 I have to prove. 1 plus cos x tan inverse under root of 1 plus cos x is 2 cos square x by 2 plus 1 minus cos x is 2 sin square x by 2 divided by 1 plus cos x is 2 cos square x by 2 minus of 2 sin square x by 2. This is tan inverse. Under root 2, under root 2 comes out. Common from the denominator as well as the numerator is cancels out. I am left out with this plus sin x by 2 upon cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. Now divide numerator and denominator by cos x by 2. I get this as tan inverse 1 plus tan x by 2 upon 1 minus tan x by 2. This is equal to tan inverse. This formula is tan of pi by 4 plus x by 2. Tan inverse, tan inverse goes. I get the right hand side that is pi by 4 plus x by 2. Moreover, it says x lies in the first quadrant. I was given like this. This pi by 2, right? My angle was cos x by 2 sin x by 2. So 0 x by 2 less than pi by 4. So it still lies in the first quadrant. So cos x by 2 comma sin x by 2 both were positive. Both were positive. This is the way I get the thing that is tan inverse of this expression is equal to pi by 4 plus x by 2. <coughs> now I am again requesting you that you should practice as many sums as you can so that the doubts are clear. Right? If you don't solve then there will be questions in your mind. So solve as many sums as you can so as to clear the topic of any chapter, not this chapter only, of any chapter. Now, next question I would like to do is, right here, tan inverse, prove that tan inverse 1 plus x here, tan inverse 1 plus x here under root plus 1 minus x square under root upon 1 plus x square minus 1 minus x square, right? This is equal to hmm, pi by 4 plus half cos inverse x square, okay? Now, again, the concept of the substitution will be used. 
वन प्लस एक्स केयर वन माइनस एक्स केयर द एक्सप्रेशन कंटेन्स दस तो आई हैव टू पुट एक्स केयर इक्वल्स टू कॉस टू थीटा दैट इज टैन इनवर्स वन प्लस कॉस टू थीटा वन माइनस कॉस टू थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय अंडर रूट वन प्लस कॉस टू थीटा वन माइनस कॉस टू थीटा This is nothing but two cos square theta under root plus two sine square theta under the root upon this is again two cos square theta minus two sine square theta tan inverse right so again under root two is common in the numerator as well as the denominator goes and left out with cos theta plus this. I will get the same answer as pi by four plus. This is tan of pi by four plus theta. I will get this answer. But what I substituted, I substituted x here as cos two theta. So pi by four plus theta value cos inverse half. That is half cos inverse x here, which is equal to your right hand side. This is the right hand side I wanted to prove. Here, under root two with under root cancels. Right, I remove it. Then I remove the under root. I get cos square theta. Similarly, remove this two. I get sine theta. This goes, two goes, and square goes. And this thing, this and this. Now from this value, cos theta plus sine theta, cos theta minus sine theta. Right, this is equal to tan of pi by four plus theta. Tan and tan inverse cancels. I am left with pi by four plus theta, but theta the value half of cos inverse x here I have written over there. This is equal to your right hand side. Now, next question is this thing. Again, based on one of the properties. Question is prove that prove that sine inverse three by five sine inverse three by five plus sine inverse eight by seventeen. This is sine inverse seventy seven upon eighty five. This I have to prove. Now again, I am going to use the property of Sine inverse x plus sine inverse y. This is equal to take the left hand side. Sine inverse x under root of one minus of eight by seventeen square sixty four by two eighty nine plus eight by seventeen under root of one minus nine by twenty five. This is sin inverse. What I have used is sin inverse x under root of one minus y square plus y under root of one minus x square. I get three by five. When I solve it, two eighty nine minus sixty four. This becomes two twenty five by two eighty nine. That is fifteen by seventeen. ठीक है? Plus eight by seventeen. Here it's sixteen by twenty five. That is four by five. When you solve this, I get sine inverse forty five plus thirty two divided by seventeen into five is eighty five. That is sine inverse forty five plus thirty two. That is seventy seven by eighty five. This is your right hand side. The formula or the property used over here is sine inverse x one minus y square under root. Plus y one minus x here under the root. Now last sum of this lecture I am going to do is this. It's again a very important question from examination point of view, right? जो कुछ भी करेंगे तो जी जान लगा के करेंगे. Now prove that four tan inverse. One upon five minus tan inverse one upon seventy plus tan inverse 
वन अपॉन नाइंटी नाइन दिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाय फोर नाउ अगेन द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ टू टर्न इनवर्स एक्स विल बी यूज एयर राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सॉल्व दिस दिस इज फोर टर्न इनवर्स वन बाय फाइव विल राइट टू इन टू टू टर्न इनवर्स वन बाय फाइव माइनस टर्न इनवर्स वन बाय सेवेंटी प्लस टर्न इनवर्स वन बाय नाइंटी नाइन नोट इज टू टर्न इनवर्स एक्स इट इज टर्न इनवर्स ठीक है टू इंटू वन बाय फाइव वन माइनस वन बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस बिकम्स टू टर्न इनवर्स टू बाय फाइव दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस वन ट्वेंटी फोर दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय ट्वेंटी फोर I get this as twelve five by twelve two tan inverse five by twelve. Again, apply the same formula over here. I get tan inverse. This is two into five by twelve upon one minus twenty five by one forty four. This becomes tan inverse five by six. Upon 144 minus 25, nine, and uh, this is 14, uh, 14 with 5, nine, and 13 to 11, 119 by 144. Just reverse it. That is tan inverse 5 by 6 into 144 by 119. Right. Now we can cancel out this. This is three. And seventy-two, right? Then again it goes three two and three four. Five four is twenty. I get the final as tan inverse zero and twelve one twenty, right? Upon hundred and nineteen. I solve this part only. Next is this. I get minus tan inverse. One by seventy plus tan inverse one by ninety nine. Now tan inverse one by twenty upon one by one one nine minus of this. Now again I can apply the formula as this tan inverse one by twenty upon one one nine. Take out the minus form from here. Tan inverse. One by seventy minus of tan inverse one by ninety nine. Keep this in brackets. This becomes tan inverse one by twenty upon one one nine minus. We solve it. Tan inverse x minus tan inverse y. Tan inverse of one by seventy minus one by ninety nine divided by one plus one by seventy into one by ninety nine. Now when we solve it. We get tan inverse twenty nine upon six three six nine three one. When we solve this expression, tan inverse one by twenty by one one nine. Right? This is left out, and then we solve this. We get this becomes it goes on one upon it becomes. One upon two thirty nine, one upon two three nine. When we solve again tan inverse x minus tan inverse y, we get the answer as tan inverse of one. This is tan inverse. I can write this as tan of pi by four. Tan with tan inverse goes. Answer will be pi by four, which is on the right hand side. This was. Tan inverse x minus tan inverse y upon one plus x into y. I get twenty nine by six nine three one. It goes on twenty nine two three nine one upon two three nine is left. Again, I have to apply the same formula. Tan inverse x minus tan inverse y. I get this as tan inverse one. So in place of one, I write tan pi by four. Tan with tan inverse cancels. I get pi by four as the answer. Right now, again, I am repeating. Please remember these properties. In my next lecture, again I will apply these properties when I am solving the problems for you. Thanks for watching my videos. Keep working hard.
टू एक्सेल थैंक यू